money is put into a trust fund for college. Some rock star, huh? I'm broke. Right now, I haven't got enough money to buy you a soda. I know that must sound pretty hard for you to believe. Keith, sometimes you are so dumb. Of course I believe you. You do? I don't care how much money you have or don't have. All I care about is you. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to be able to go to the prom tomorrow night. Why not? My boyfriend doesn't have enough money. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean I'm going to let you out of the date. Um, I think they're going to rerun that Flash Gordon serial again on TV tomorrow night. I just like to see the dirt people get there. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where Keith is. It's not like him to miss dinner. <laughs> or any kind of food, for that matter. Don't worry. He should be towed up any minute now. Keith, where is, don't tell me. You got another job selling caskets. A oh, waiter, another cup of coffee, please. <laughs> okay, okay. Make all your jokes now and get them out of the way. Did you know you look like David Niven? Except your hair's longer, you don't have a mustache, and you're ugly. <laughs> Here's the 25 bucks I owe you, little brother, in hard cash. And I hereby dismiss you as my business manager. <laughs> Let's see. Lori, here's your money. Uh, you no longer own the spare tire, the jack, or the door that fell off on the freeway. <laughs> and Reuben, paid in full. I know you'd rather complain than have the money, but that's life. <laughs> and Mom, it's all there. And now, if you will excuse me, I have to go pick up Carol. We don't want to be late for prom. Wait a minute. I meant an explanation. Why did I get my money back? I'm entitled. Keith, where did you get that money? Well, I sold my car. You what? Hey, he's telling the truth. There's only a grease spot in the driveway where the car used to be. <laughs> what made you do it? Well, I had a long talk with Carol, like you suggested. And I found out I'm a pretty lucky guy to have a girl like her. So... I decided the least I could do was take her to the prom. So I sold my car. I know how much that car meant to you. That was a very big thing for you to do. Yeah, well, I'll have another car someday. But the next time I'm gonna wait till I can really afford it. Boy, no more borrowing from me. I'm through. Well, I gotta get going. I'll see you. Bye, honey. Have a good time. Okay. See you later. Jeez. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Can I borrow the keys to the bus? <laughs> That's my property. That's my property. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a regular stop for me every time I go around the board. And the two most expensive properties with a hotel on each one. You owe me... $1,250. The same amount I paid the last four times I landed there. Pay up. Danny, I'm, uh, I'm a little short. How about a loan? Sure. All you have to do is sign this document, which gives me the power of attorney. You're a terrible businessman. <laughs> hey, Mom. Keith, what happened to you? Just wait till you see what I bought. What is it? Come on out and see. I take it, Mom. You'll never believe the deal. It only cost me 50 bucks. Hey, Mom! Well, it must run pretty smooth. I didn't even hear you ride up. Well, I, I didn't exactly ride it up. I, I pushed it up. It doesn't run that, but for a couple of hundred Keith, bucks. Keith, I forbid it. You'll kill yourself on that thing. Well, I wanted to talk to you about that. Think you can lend me 20 bucks for a crash helmet? Oh. <laughs> I don't want it.